Hello, hello, hello. Jethro Tull, Jethro Tull, everybody loves Jethro Tull. Oh, I didn't quite scan. Should have written this, should have, should have planned this. Hello, hello. For today, Jethro Tull, or Ian Anderson, in this thing that he calls Jethro Tull now, um, release a single. Do people release singles? It's called a Shoshana. Sleeping. Interesting. Biblical. Shoshana is a very important character. This is interesting. Trust me. It comes from the Zealot Gene, which is an, a new studio album that's going to be dropped on the 28th of January next year, 2022. Of course, if you watch this in the future, l last year or, or five years, but I, I don't know. It didn't work it out. And so we have this Shoshana sleeping single, which I listened to. I listened to it. I listen to it. I put my headphones on. Put my, put my cans. Look, these are cans. That's what that's what musicians. That's what studio types call them. They call them cans. That means we're better than you, better than you. And um, I listen to it. Now I don't know who, who remembers Jethro Tull. Do you remember them? Do you remember them? Or Jethro Tull? Tope. <laughs> Jethro Toe. Even. I'll get it right in a minute. Jethro Toe. That's their real name because that was on the first single, wasn't it? And that's that's their real name. Their, their real name is Jethro Toe, not Jethro Toe. They've been they've been called the wrong name ever since. I prefer Jethro Toe. Um, this is the single, and he stands on one leg and he plays the flute. He does he does? It's very clever. Well, Ian Anderson, he's back with Shoshana sleeping, and yeah, I listened to it, and. Um, yeah, it's a real throwback to the kind of Aqualung days. Again, it's lazy to say that, but it's what everybody knows. If you're not a Jethro Toe, Jethro Toe fan, uh, if I say Aqualung, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You know, those where he's using the flute. In this song, um, and it's how long is it? How long is it? Uh, three minutes 41. Nice and short. Just there, just there I like it. Um, the flute. Very much is the at the forefront. He's got that, that breathy, um, aggressive flute sound going on, um, and that dominates the track. Um, it, it bristles along. It's got a nice little chorus. It is quite poppy. It is. It, it stuck. It went in. It's quite poppy, and you've got the guitar mimicking, um, you know, kind of following the the flute melody, and Mr. Toe himself, Anderson. Because he's Mr. Toe, isn't he? Mr. Toe presents a well. I guess it's a well. He references Shoshana or Susanna. That's where the name comes from. Biblical, yeah? from Judaism. So, so Shoshana, Susanna. Anyway, this gets me to talk about Susanna in the book of I think it's Daniel. The story is she's a, she's falsely accused of um, of the old the old in out adultery. Uh, two blokes spy on her while she's bathing, and that is a very common a very common thing in uh, in art. You know, in, the, in pre Raphael pre Raphaelite uh, art. You know, a lot of these are it's two old men spying on the woman bathing, and it comes from. The story of Shoshana, which I guess this kind of, I mean, if he's mentioned, I guess the, I guess it's, it's to do with that. But again, I think the Zealot Gene may be a concept album. Um, so, yeah. Might be, it might be. So it'd be interesting to hear this song in the context of the Zealot Gene. I released the album artwork for that today. He looks a bit mean and moody. He's gone for the black and white bald headed guy man look. Kind of riffing on what I do with 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 my where am I? I'm I'm up there. I'm up there. Look there. Look there. There. Look there. I am. See, he's gone for the black and white bald man look. Hey, hey. But yeah, I listened to it and I thought yeah, it's all right. It's all right. Some of the production I think is a little bit wobbly, but I think it was kind of recorded in lockdown and maybe digital files were exchanged. The flute is a little bit. Mm -hmm, I think it needs to be a little bit. You know. It's need to be a bit. It's very raspy, but I think that's the point. Um, but the real problem, and I hate saying it, is Ian Anderson's voice is shot. 
And he's not so much sung, it's more spoken. And I think he should have gone more the spoken route rather than the singing route because, you know, he, he can't he can't do it anyway. That's a real shame. I find that a bit of a shame. But but and this is this is a problem. Now this is a problem with all you Stephen Wilson fans out there. I enjoyed it. Oh no, no. What's wrong with me? Oh God, what's wrong with me? I enjoyed it in a kind of we <clears throat> in a in a kind of pseudo nostalgic kind of way because you know we're going back backwards backwards in in in, in time to the days of the Aqualong Aqualong. We're doing that. We're like, it's all that. Imagine I've got a flute. Imagine I've got a flute. It's like that, but that's a recorder. It's not a flute. Um, what was I talking about? Aqualung. Yeah, so it's got that kind of vibe to it. It's again, it's backward looking, but I, I, I'm not going to. Everyone had a go at me the other day because I didn't like something. So I'm going to pretend to like something today. <clears throat> no, I did. In, I genuinely thought it was it was fun. It's neither an original nor you know. It's just Ian Anderson doing Jethro Toe. And um, I thought it was hooky. I thought it was catchy. Um, it 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 trundled along at a nice speed. Didn't stick around. It didn't it didn't annoy me. It didn't get in my face. But yeah, it's sad that Ian's voice is um, it's gone the way of Fish's voice. But then he is an old he is an old man. He's an old man, isn't he? Um, and it's a shame that that's the the, the thing. But it, it, it kind of sounds like Jethro Toe, doesn't it? it? Sounds like Jethro Toe. So it must be Jethro Toe. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe the new album will be a bit more, you know, backward looking. You know, kind of, um, you know, bringing in all those elements that Jethro Toe, um, you know, brings to their music. Maybe it's going to be, maybe, maybe yeah, it's going to be standing on one leg. Maybe he stood on one leg for the entire duration of recording the album. We'll never know unless they do a making of documentary for the dvd i'm sure there'll be a dvd 5.1 surround sound mix because everyone loves that but yeah do check it out it's called shoshana sleeping well it should have been shoshana showering or bathing or because that's the real that's the real you know story of shoshana if he's referencing the biblical shoshana not susanna 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 that was about uh no it's rosanna isn't it i'm getting not that's not about roseanne Barr. no it's about rosanna arquette um but yeah, give it. Give you, I think Jethro Toe fans will enjoy it greatly. I thought it was a breezy little number, uh, an interesting kind of, uh, I don't know, a little bit of a malevolent undertone to it. You know, ooh, what's going to happen to? Ooh, you know, lyrics were a bit repetitive, but we can do that. But it sounded like that band that it's trying to be like. I mean, I don't understand because Ian Anderson's had a few. He's had a few solo albums out under Ian Anderson. So why has he revived the uh, Jethro Toe name? I, I don't, I mean, you know. Is there a difference between Ian Anderson music and Jethro Toe music? I don't know. Please leave your answers in the comments box below. But yeah, I didn't think it was bad. I thought it was all right-ish. It was all right. I only listened to it once, mind. I only listened to it mind once, because that's all you need. But do check it out. Shoshana Schleepin. I have to get your teeth in to say it. That's the only problem. Shoshana sleeping. And um, and yeah, go go give it a listen. <laughs> See, it's gone in, it's stuck. I listened to it once. And I like that little refrain, but it does go it does repeat it a lot, you know. It's repetitive. And I think his voice is a little bit, yeah. And I think the flute could have been just a little bit rounded. It's a bit raspy, a bit raspy. But everyone else was, you know, doing. I thought guitar was doing it. It's, it's all right. It's all right. See, everyone says I, I rant and rave, and I don't under, I don't understand because it's, it's a very small proportion of what I do. It's just tiny. It's only only about Stephen Wilson. <laughs> it's very small. It's very tiny, tiny, like my brain, of what I do. The rest of it, I'm usually quite positive, even with this from Jethro Toe. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna. The fireworks are going off. For today, it is November the 5th. It's where Guy Fawkes invented the folk. And it's also the missus' 50th birthday. So happy birthday, the missus. She's as old as I am now. Huzzah! With that, there's only one more thing left to say. 
that is pro Oh,